Wow, my gosh. Guys, highly encourage. Dry some rosemary, dry some vegetables, take a little pot with you in a pan, and go find a place to go fishing in the mountains. This is just the coolest. Hey folks, thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel where I'm exploring life free from the shackles of society. Life is a lot more fun over on the wild side. It's 11.30 and I got them ready and we're gonna go. Come on, Barley. God. So I was told we follow these meadows for about four miles. And then the last mile is switchbacks and uphill. All right, we just uh, shifted, shifted the pack a little bit. I had one side too high, so it was leaning, but otherwise uh, riding really great so far. Huh, that's better. Can't say I don't bathe. Well, so far his uh, packs are staying. They could be a little more even, but they're good enough, I think. We'll find out. Didn't expect to see that out here. Beautiful. I love these high mountain creeks and rivers. It's so crystal clear. The goats are being all dramatic about the water. <laughs> but they do it, so that's good. Goats don't like water. <laughs> They're all wet now. Come on, baby goats. Come on. Come on, pay attention. Oh Is that good, Bo? I don't mind a little food break. So clear, I love it. And I just ran into another uh, fisherman. Said the fishing's really good up here at Surprise Lake. So I'm probably gonna go home with more food than I brought. Okay, so we started going uphill. That means we're on the last mile toward the lake. I hope I get some meadows for my horses to eat. Oh, poor goats, I think they're tired. The dogs might be tired too. Well, that's why we're only doing five miles. This ascent up to the lake has been grueling. All the animals are tired. Sparta may not be, I don't know, but the uh, horses are tired of this. The goats are whining. And I see water. Ooh, I really want to get in there. Even though there's a breeze and it is cooler up here, still might jump in. Oh, it's so clear. Now you're looking at a man who's feeling mighty sad. I've had a lot of luck and it's all been bad. No matter how I struggle and strive, I'll never get out of this world alive. Well, hey, at least it's green here. <sighs> All right, dogs, who's swimming with me? Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> oh, this is amazing. It feels good, it's crystal clear. <laughs> the goats hate the water, but they want to be with me. 
This is what I brought for water. Before I left, I packed up barley, as you guys saw in the last video. And uh, then I took the pack off of him, set it down, and unsaddled him. And then forgot to get the pack, so I left it in that uh, pen, the round pen. Well, that mare that's in there, she likes to stomp anything that could uh, possibly hold grain in it. So I came back later and saw my packs strewn. Well, one strewn, one of them was packed really well and it didn't even bust open. And I didn't bother opening it because I had enough problems to deal with to get out of there. It was still tied up, so I left it and I figured I'll just make that a surprise when I get there. So I just opened it up and the worst of it is two things. My pan was all beat up, but I put it back into shape basically. My little stove was, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and then the cork was off of my oil can. So all of that olive oil that I was looking forward to cooking that fish with is soaked up in all these food bags. My salt. And this is the bag it was in and everything else was in with it. So the good news is my mug didn't get broke. My coffee pot is just barely dent, t dented. I also had a wreck with the uh, barley mash when we got here. So things have been a little bit rough, but now here we are. I'm gonna finally set up camp and uh, maybe do some more fishing, except I don't have oil to cook my fish in, but uh, we'll see. Oh, oh. Gun daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Can't quite get my head. I don't know if wine's a good idea or not. I don't know. Without oil, I'm just kind of screwed. I don't know if I should have parked here in the sand. After all, those of us who have seen, who've suffered through that Star Wars movie, we all know how annoying sand can be, as it gets everywhere. All right, well, there's heat being applied, so I should have fish. Mmm. So I took these down which this is actually a teapot. I called it a coffee pot in my last video. You know it's a teapot, somebody pointed this out, because tea floats, so you want the spout starting down low. Coffee grounds sink, so a coffee pot, you want the spout up high. Looking good, looking good. You know what would be good with that is rice. But, I need some vegetables too. So, let's see. This is a whole mix of veggies. Right here we got a whole bunch of broccoli and a sweet potato slice and some squash slices. So that's probably a good serving of vegetables. I wasn't even counting. So I got that much to divide between Wait, two nights or three nights? Yeah, if I do three nights, I got that much to divide, so I should, probably should have been a little more careful. The fish is getting more wine than I am. Hmm, I'll add a little more on this side now. Oh, wow, ha, ha, ha. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh boy, thank you, thank you, Miss Trout. Mrs. She was pregnant. Ow. She actually had some roe in her, so I felt bad about that, darn it. If I would have known. Anybody want to comment? Let me know if it's possible to tell a female uh, fish 
which I don't know how. And it would have been really cool if I had known I would have put her back because it turned out she had some eggs, which in these high mountain lakes, I want them to keep uh, reproducing so we can all keep fishing. I only kept the one because I've got plenty of food, so I didn't need to take a whole bunch. I'm really happy with her. She was fat and pan-sized, as my dad told me. I mean, look at that. It's perfect. The flies have died down a bit, it looks like. Man, it's ridiculous how many big biting flies there are. Bo had a couple spots where they drew blood. Looks like they're still bugging them. It's the mosquitoes next that I'm hoping we don't have a really bad amount of. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy though. This trout, I don't normally like trout. I don't remember it being so pink normally, but man, this is amazing. In case anybody saw him with the saddle and blankets on him like that, I unfolded the blankets a bit and threw them over him and then put the saddle on to hold them in place because that's a lot of area of the flies and uh, mosquitoes are not able to mess with him. So it looks weird, but when you hear the reason, it makes a lot of sense. These dumb horses, they're headed home. <sighs> That's the funny thing about horses. They want to get back home. <sighs> so we just ran <sighs> half a mile, fortunately. What are you guys thinking, huh? Kiddos. Woo! Now we gotta turn around. Well, if he's gonna make me run, he can also carry me. I should be on barley though. I watched him go. He was the one that decided to head for home. We're back now. Bo gets tied up. Mostly because he's the best at being tied. Barley Mesh will uh, still get scared if he gets hung up on something where Bo will most likely stay relaxed and I can just go and uh, unhook him. And uh, Barley won't leave without Bo. Bo wouldn't leave without Barley. So... Now they're okay. I was kind of testing that stick thing. Maybe if I had used a bigger stick, uh, then Bo would have got it snagged and not made it so far. Now, let's check on the rice. <laughs> well, these goats crack me up. Hey, that's looking good. Looking good. Let's see. Don't knock that over. Oh crap. Hey, ah, dog! Well, <laughs> I was wrong about Barley. He ran off. So I went running after him this time and uh, got way ahead of him. And uh, then he came crashing along and I got him. The mosquitoes are kind of bad. I don't know how bad they are on the horses, but they're terrified of this uh, spray, so no chance of using it on him. If it's too awfully bad, I'm going home tomorrow or trying a different camp spot because I'm not going to uh, subject them to misery. So I'll have to find out starting to get dark so i'm gonna say good night i've got one two <laughs> three animals sleeping beside me right now and uh sparta never does and poor maddie she's probably jealous sulking elsewhere <laughs> uh, so 
All right, good night. See y'all in the morning. Good morning. I got my campfire going and it was a cold night. I barely made a bed. Just laid all four blankets down on top of me. And uh, between dogs and goats sleeping on it, I could barely get enough blankets on me. I got two pulled over me, but not very well. And then uh, having the dogs and goats leaning against me kept me warm too. So it was fine for a while. But then the coldest part of the night, I kept waking up. Oh, and the ground was really hard. I think I have bruises in my side. <sighs> so I may go home today. The mosquitoes are just horrendous right now. And... I've got clothes covering most of me except for my face and my hands, but the poor horses are just miserable. And they're terrified of the off, like terrified, where it's dangerous to even put it on them because they get frantic and get themselves in a dangerous position. So, I may pack up and leave. All right, we're getting out of here. The mosquitoes, I've even got off on my face and they're still messing with me. So, just imagine these poor horses. Yes, the pack looks horrible on him. So, here's what I figured out. I'm glad I did this trip because that's the way I learn is by doing and then it builds up motivation, and if I don't ask the right questions, then uh, I don't learn so well. So now that I have screwed up, this trip has been uh, very stressful, mostly because the trip up here was uh, really challenging. Oh, whoops. Because I didn't have the packs packed on right, so the entire time, I'm stressing that the saddle is gonna flip under his belly. And then it finally did when we got to camp and then it was a wreck. Uh, and um, so that's no fun when you're constantly stressing. And to add to that, I couldn't just stop and fix it because I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I haven't learned how to pack properly. As soon as I get to cell phone range, I'm gonna call a couple of people and see if I can go visit them and learn how to tie on a pack properly so maybe this will have a good conclusion that will result in me having some good skills <sighs> overall this has been awesome i mean getting to swim in the lake and catch that fat trout that tasted amazing my coffee was good this morning and oh man so and i've learned an area this high country is interesting and uh, it's different. So you gotta get used to it. Took a bunch of pictures so I can identify plants and it's been uh, great. When we got back, we were exhausted. I underestimated the four miles of walking in those moccasins. Now it's just four miles of easy walking. But I also figured out a couple of things on the way home. I've packed gear on saddles multiple times. On the trail, I always assume it's me doing something wrong. And uh, on the way home, I, it occurred to me, this isn't the first time I've used a saddle to carry gear. This isn't the first time I've ever carried stuff on a saddle. And it's not ideal, but I've never had this much trouble. Once I put it on bow, we went four and a half miles, no problem. 
I had to collect up the gear, put it all on bow. What I think it is, and I've had a problem with this saddle before, I shouldn't have uh, written it off so much. This cinch strap is really thick and uh, stiff. And it comes loose. I always just assumed it was me tying it wrong or tying it poorly and not getting it uh, tight enough. But then it occurred to me, you know, with all the other saddles working, it had to be this thing loosening up because I've had problems with it before and I shouldn't have downplayed that. So now my saddle's all beat up. I've got pieces left up there that I got to go back after and uh all because i was being too humble uh hey 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 hey, hey. <clears throat> also if you've watched my videos you know that mostly it's just video after video of me trying and failing at things and i always ask was it a success or a fail this one I'd put it at a 60% failure. There were certainly some wins, but overall I didn't end up packing in and packing. Hey, hey! My camera crew is not behaving. I didn't pack in and pack out. I ended up walking out, so I don't consider that a success and having all that trouble with the pack that's not what i'm aiming for as far as a success is concerned and uh and so the next time it should go the next time it should go well and so coming up next i'm not going camping right away because next is shanico days it's our old west event where we dress up and go do gunfights and uh, have a lot of fun in uh, Shanico, Oregon. So watch for that. And after that, I'll get back to uh, camping. So thanks everybody, glad you're here and I'll see you the next time.